guys, it's Tyler here from Living Ecuador, back with another video. I wanted to keep these more frequent. Um, I did make this video yesterday, but unfortunately realized that my microphone was turned off for the entire duration for it. So anyways, coming back today with it, um, and I have more information on stuff, so it's kind of for the better anyways. Um, so I wanted to make a quick like top three video, but not so much on the common places that most people are retiring uh, in Ecuador but if you're go I'm gonna make a little bit of a series here but if you're ma if you're looking to retire in Ecuador or just kind of check out the places that you might feel like would be good places to retire and these places are good to just check regardless um, but they're definitely on the lower key side of things like they're not your baños they're not gonna be a venture capital or anything like that so yeah without further ado let's get into it all right, so first on the list we have probably the most common of the three that I'm gonna mention. Um, it's Otavalo. Uh, Otavalo is a um, fairly big town. Um, its population is around 40,000 people, um, and it is a modern sort of town. I would say it's pretty big, almost kind of like a city, but it's not quite. Um, it's also home to the uh, Otavalo Market, which is a huge tourist uh, destination for most people, so uh, a lot of uh, people like to live there just because of that connection, and also has an amazing bus uh, port system, so you can actually catch a bus there that pretty much goes anywhere in Ecuador, um, which is really convenient. Um, they have the market, which is obviously a uh, pretty cool convenience there. You can haggle. Por eso, digo, primera venta, por eso digo 27. 28? You could do 28. Uh, in terms of that kind of um, atmosphere, uh, it's a quieter town in the sense, um, there's no like movie theaters, for instance. There's no uh, kind of like modern amenities like giant mega malls and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that'll be it for Otavalo. Uh, I can make a whole video on Otavalo. I just wanted to keep it pretty brief. Um, so yeah, moving on to number two, uh, Kodakachi. Kodakachi is, it's a, it's, it's also a market town. It's a, it specializes in leather. So it's pretty famous for its leather. Uh, I have countless belts from there. They make leather boots, leather jackets, leather belts, pretty much anything. You can make leather out of wallets, all that good stuff. Um, really cool place to check out if you are going to Otavalo and you have some time. Um, it's not too far away from Otavalo. With that being said, you're also close to Quito, like Otavalo is as well. The population of Kodakachi is around 10,000 people. Um, it has a very small town vibe. It's not as touristy on the weekends like Otavalo is with their Sunday markets and their Saturday, their weekend markets, sorry. Um, so yeah, if that's kind of your vibe, you're going for more of a less touristy thing, you want a low key kind of place where you can kind of enjoy nature and it has the same kind of amenities that like Otobalo has and you're really close to um, a lot of things like Otobalo is as well. All right, we're moving on to our number three spot. Um, and uh, like the title says, we're just focusing on the northern parts of Ecuador right now. Uh, we're going to make our way down eventually to everyone's favorite, you know, Cuenca, Guayaquil, Manta, you know, Salinas, places like that. So on the next couple of videos, but for this series, we're focusing on the north. So without further ado, Ibarra. Now, Ibarra or Ibarra, interesting city because... First of all, it is a city, so we're stepping out of the town population and we're jumping all the way to, I think, around a hundred, yeah, around a hundred thousand people. So, it's a sizable upgrade, but in the same sense, it's not, like, it doesn't feel like it's a big city, like Quito or something like that. It has this very small town vibe, but there's open air markets everywhere. There, it's a very local kind of atmosphere. At least, I, I mean, I've I've lived there for months. I mean, maybe a couple of years. If I tallied up all the months that I've lived there, um, and it's cool because there's good, there's a good nightlife down there, and there's like very local vibe. There's, oh my god, the parks are just fantastic. Like, if you have kids or 
you just like the park. I mean, there are hundreds of parks. It's just, it's insane. They're really beautiful, really well kept. It's like no one knows about this city for some reason. And it has the conveniences of like modern cities like Quito, but it's not a mega city like Quito. So it has, you know, it has like, um, it has malls, like Cineplexes, kind of, uh, you know, watch movies and stuff like that. Uh, brand name stores and stuff like that, but on, on the other side of town, you can also get open air markets where you can get uh, any any of the same kind of stuff that you get in the mall. Uh, you know, like your Otavalo market, similar to that, but not obviously with the same prices and stuff like that. But you can get meats and vegetables and all this stuff in an open air market, and then you could also go to like Santa Maria or um, the Grand Aqui and get your produce or whatever you prefer. So it's kind of nice. You can go down the street. Boom, hit that place, go get your vegetables at another place. It's a really good city to be in. Like the climate is absolutely perfect. Like literally sunny all day, rains barely. If it rains, it's like for a couple, you know, maybe an hour tops, 20 to an hour. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I think that's all I can really say about those three cities. Um, but if you guys like these types of videos, leave a thumbs up. Uh, because that lets YouTube know that these are the types of videos that you guys are liking. And that'll suggest more. So I appreciate it a lot. Um, we're going to try to keep doing more of these videos. If this, this is the type of videos you guys like, we'll do that. If you guys want to see kind of a mix of media, we'll definitely try to do that as well. But um, yeah, thanks so much for uh, watching and uh, we'll talk soon. Take care.